which is like a daily mall is just it's not even up to five minutes work it's even closer you know this bedroom car here is closer to the apartments compared to the dorm and bedroom car and also there's Lidil, which is also like trackable distance and then there's scotland i feel like there are a lot of malls around it that make shopping easy i'm so tired i'm done arranging the room before i left so i'll just eat the snacks have my shower and then start getting ready to rock like get ready with my day so i got this i got this water and to be very honest i haven't bought water in a very long time <laughs> i haven't bought water in a very long time but the reason why i got it is that i have this filter kettle which i'm going to show you guys when i get to the dome when i get to the apartment why am i saying dumb i'm out of the dome today <laughs> when i get to the room i'll show you guys but i just like when i filter it i pour it into this um keg or you know so that i don't have to be pouring all the time because i drink water a lot and i really don't like when i'm trying to pour water from the kettle to the cup and then it's pouring everywhere i don't like that so i just got snacks i'm gonna show you guys but that's pretty much what it looks like reality right how do i feel i don't know mixed feeling here and there but i'm just so positive that i think that's just the key word positive mindset and also there is like a playground in front of my apartment so from my window i can literally see the playground but as i mean i have children now or kids you know it could have been fun let me show you guys quickly good morning good morning sunday morning how are you guys doing yesterday which was saturday i feel like the room might be echoing but it's because the room is actually literally empty yesterday which was saturday i pretty much like spent a lot of time at the new place the new apartment trying to arrange it i think i'm about 85 85 percent done arranging and i was so exhausted yesterday like the moment i got home i got home i think around past 10 to 11 and i was just ready to sleep so i got let me show you guys the situation of this apartment now which today is sunday i'm going to clean up tomorrow which is on monday by god's grace and then on tuesday i'm going to sign out so i literally just have like three days or two days monday tuesday and then today being sunday to sign out of the dormitory let me show you guys what the room looks like currently so i got this plan yesterday i think i'm in the area where I'm loving plants and I'm going to tell you guys why so <laughs> this is what the plant looks like I don't know if it's going to grow taller I love the height and it's giving like this Christmas tree kind of vibe so the name of this plant is Otedola <laughs> I'm a plant mom and this is the first one I got I think last week this is what it looks like it's, and i love the fact that it's bringing out new flowers and it's so cute and this is dangote okay so we have a ten dollar and then we have dangote i think i'm just going to buy one more and move this to the new apartment so this is the current situation of the room i just have like this bag <laughs> this is the clothes i wore yesterday i was so tired i had to drop them there the whole shelf is literally empty i have the bag i'm taking to church today perf water and perf also <laughs> literally for just these two days yeah this is the situation of things because I ate kebab yesterday and I couldn't finish it. I'll just microwave it and then continue. So this is what I ate yesterday night. I bought it. This is something that I usually eat like <laughs> here in Poland. And then I took it with this fruit uh, jukes. I couldn't even finish it. This is what the table looks like. And this is the key. This is the key. It's giving landladies vibe by God's grace in Jesus name. Amen. So the current the next shelf <laughs> the next shelf this is what 
it looks like it's 100 percent empty like i said i just have like my toothpaste my toothbrush bible to study yeah the journey is almost over it's almost over here also is literally empty i just have oil soap just in case if i want to wash for these three days this and i just have um the outfits i'm wearing for these three days sunday monday tuesday and then this other part is literally empty so i've not emptied the thing in the fridge i feel like this is the last thing i'm going to empty i just have one winter jacket and that's you know one thing about relocating is the fact that it's also one thing about mm, moving or relocating is also the fact that it could serve let me place you guys here one thing about moving is also the fact that it could serve as a means of the clustering because you're going to find out that you know what i don't need these things there's no point in taking this thing anymore hence why the waste bin is actually full so uh and let me tell you guys one thing for sure moving is stressful and it just like it keeps every other thing on the post because all your mind all your attention is focused there i think by tuesday night or wednesday morning i'm going to be sleeping at the new place and then um show you guys like what it finally looks like and let me just say this let me just say this like one of the things that i'm so grateful for is the fact that i stayed in this room this apartment this place which is for two people because we have two beds as you guys can see we have a bed here and then we have a bed here which is like two um two in a room but <laughs> i came in here to in a room and in less than three months it wasn't even up to three months in less than two to three months I happen to stay alone because my roommate left for some certain reasons and then ever since then I didn't have any roommates and then I was just paying for one bed space isn't God wonderful so I was literally paying like 540 zloty for one bed space and I ended up using the two like two in a one room for myself alone and that is actually very beautiful because it helps me to you know like sew do a lot of sewing a lot of creating of content so it's more or less like i was living in it i was living alone but instead of paying double rent i was just paying one rent and i'm so grateful to god for such opportunity because trust me not everyone has such opportunity you know i could have gotten another room they could have given me or they could have even asked me to go and look for but summer 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 <laughs> It just worked in my favor at the end of the day so back to the plants you know i said i'm a plant mom right and then i said one is a ten dollar let me show you guys so look at her i think this see how cute this is i just hope it's going to be very full maybe as it's growing and it's going to be very tall i love it i love it so much so yesterday i went to coughland to get um something in coughland and I saw a plant, not this plant. I got this plant in Bedronka and then I got this um remind me of this name, Dangote in Coughland, I think two to three days ago. So one of the things or the reason why I started buying plants, especially that I'm moving into a new space, is the fact that I just thought about it. I said that and I was telling my sister that there is no rich home. There is no rich home, either in movies, either in reality. There is no rich home that doesn't have plants. You, you can just observe it. Let me know if, like, think about it. Think about rich people in your area. Think about rich people in your environment. Think about rich people in the movies or people that you know that are rich. They always have plants. And let me tell you, you know this type of plant though? They always have, like, confirmed, solid, big plants. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. In every rich home, there is always a plant. So I noticed that uh, unconsciously, it's not like I was even taking note of it, right? And then I was like, hmm, why did this thing come to my mind? It simply means that, is it that this brings wealth or what? Hence why I named it Otedola and Dangote because those are like rich men, not just in Nigeria, but in Africa and I think in the world as it at large so it's okay for this plant to bring in fresh hair and to bring in wealth you know and 
Hi guys! <laughs> so I'm done cleaning. I think it's going to echo, but it's because the room is literally empty. I'm done cleaning. So today is 14th of May. So literally, like if you are staying from the first day to half of the month, then you have to pay half of the rent. And the moment, like even if you stay on the first, you are paying half of the rent. And the moment you stay after 15th, even if it's 16th, you have to pay the full rent. So bear in mind that I've paid for that other place. So um, I paid half here in the dormitory and they gave me this clearance form. This is what the clearance form looks like, just like this. I think like different people have to sign from cleaning to storeroom, you know, there are a lot of people that have to sign. So. I'm done cleaning and I have to do that before 12 noon so I'm done cleaning and they finally signed it you know they finally signed it so let me show you guys what the empty room looks like so let's go this is my view I'm going to miss this view so much but life comes with growth this is what the window looks like this is my second time signing out like in the dormitory generally this is my bed i don't know it can be a bit dark but let me see if i can switch on the lights one more time <laughs> so i folded like this are the bedding so in the dormitory they usually give us like bed spread and also like beddings i think every month once every month this is what the cupboard looks like so this room is a room of two so this is what the cupboard looks like you have the shelf and then you have your bed here there's a table here. i'm gonna take that once i'm leaving now this is what the table looks like this is the second bed so this is my bag that i'm going to take along this is um the shelf so initially when i had the roommate i was staying here before i started using the room by myself and i'm so grateful this is what the chef looks like then at this age you have the fridge everything has to be clean I've, i enjoyed using like this whole fridge to myself now in my new apartment we are six in the flat and we are sharing a big fridge but let's see how it goes <laughs> So this is like where we basically hang our winter jackets this is the door this is the fridge winter jacket so this is like the kitchen um show for the roommates like so if you are two then you have to share it's like one one and then here this is where we just place like our pots you know plates spoons pots from the kitchen so um, this is the shoe i'm wearing and i'm taking this once i'm leaving now and then the cupboard also this is what the cupboard looks like where you just shared like two two now let's move to the wardrobe the wardrobe you have this upper space this is where i was keeping my african prints and then so look at my plants <laughs> so once i'm leaving i'm going to take that now this is the first set second third and then you have the second cupboard here also and the second table since it's a room of two let me just move back and then show you guys like all the space we have so this is literally like all the space in the room this is the fridge the bed and also that so one of the things that i'm grateful for let me keep you guys here <laughs> One of the things that I'm grateful for staying in this place was the fact that, you know, sometimes, like, not to be, not to be a motivational speaker, but sometimes we make certain decisions that we feel like we are scared of it, but at the end of the day, it might turn out to be right. So, I remembered when I was moving from the other dormitory to this dormitory because my roommates were graduating and then I had to leave and they gave me like set of rooms to pick from I think about five rooms because of course everybody literally had like a roommate and then I picked this room even though there was like a lot of clothes here and there not up to two months not up to two months maximum three months um, my roommate left 
and I started living alone. So literally, I'm supposed to pay 540, 540. Like each person is supposed to pay 540 zloty, 540 zloty because it's a two in one room. So for a three in one room, you're paying 480 per person. So I was supposed to pay like 540, 540. And normally when your roommate leaves, you most times you have two options of either they ask you to move to another room or they pair you with a roommate or you have to start paying for the two bed space, which is going to be like 1000 something because you are paying your 540 and also your roommate 540, right? But God being so good, at that point, that was when I was thinking of like, oh, bringing in my machine. I was thinking of buying machines. I was thinking of um, buying machines. I was thinking of, you know, start sewing or bringing like the fashion line here. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, you know what? Once I bring it, I'm hopeful. I'm going to get a job and then I'm going to see if I can move out because it's not going to be convenient to sew when you have a roommate. It's not going to be convenient to bring in like sewing machines or fabrics when you have a roommate because the ideal thing is you might end up disturbing your roommates, you know, with such noise and all of those activities. God, when they say God know the ending from the beginning, trust me, like God actually knows. So at that point, I think I've ordered my machine from China. I was expecting it to come, you know, before it came, that's period before it landed for some certain reason the machine was just delaying itself but the fabrics i brought from nigeria had ar arrived already so i just stocked them with my wardrobe my wardrobe was like choked up but i mean choked up i mean choked up but i didn't even care about that so um you know just few weeks or few days before my machine came my roommates got a job and then she left and I was like, oh, maybe they're going to pair me with somebody or they're going to bring somebody or I have to start paying 1000 something, which like, it's a lot. <laughs> you know what? The, the testimony behind all these stories is that I stayed for, you know, I stayed, I think I moved in here in July. So let's say I had a roommate July, August, September. From October, November, my roommate has left, you know, so I think either October or November she has left. And I stayed from then, which is like, okay, let's just say November, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, like seven months without having a roommate, without being paired with somebody. And I was only paying for one bed space. And let me tell you, it is not common here in the dormitory because it's either you have a roommate you're paying or you, they pay you or you pay the double. So I was alone for six to seven months. They didn't pay me with anybody. They didn't bring anybody into this place. And they did not even ask me to start paying for the two bed space. It was as if they just forgot about me. <laughs> And that, that is God because it is not common and that is God, you know, God knew that, you know, I needed a space to like, you know, start sewing, to start doing this and automatically by himself, God created it for me, which is something that I'm grateful for. And also because I followed my mind when I had like five rooms to pick from then, I just scrolled through the five rooms and I was like, okay, this is more expensive because it's two rooms and, you know, I just picked it. I followed my mind regardless of what people were saying. And it paid me at the end of the day because it's not common. I know like if if you get what I'm trying to say, it's not common here for people to forget their rent on you. Not like forget. It was as if they didn't even remember that I existed. You know, they paid some people when people started leaving. They told some people to go and join some people. Some people started paying the full rent, but it was as if they forgot about my room number. As if they didn't even remember that I existed and that can just be good and for that I'm so grateful and I'm so grateful because that journey has finally come to an end you know and it just it's just me saying thank you Jesus for giving me such opportunity to be able to use like this whole room to myself without having to pay twice you know without even having somebody it was as if God brought me here initially just to create a space for me to work to create a space for me to sew and I'm so so grateful because it can only be God. Like when I say it can only be God, it can only be God. The only thing I did was I had to split my things into two. I had to lay the two beds. I had to, you know, arrange things in the two places. So when you come in, you might not know that 
I don't have a roommate, you know, and I was always locking the door, which is like fine. But even without that, it's not even by that. It's the fact that the management actually totally like forgot, and that is just good. And at this point, the journey has come to an end. It was an amazing journey, um, you know, transitioning from the other dorm to this dorm, enjoying the space. But life is all about growth, and sometimes you shouldn't be too comfortable, especially when it's time to move, you know. Look at how God does it. So this month, for example, I paid half there and then I paid less than half in the new place, which is like going to balance up for almost the same price. And I don't know how the new the new space is going to be because one, I feel like the space is small and also because it's six people in the flat. But is it a journey that I'm willing to explore? Yes. And I'm so grateful to God for giving me such affordable house, you know. And not just affordable house for also giving me in a short contract thing that i can decide if i still want to renew or if i want to live out i just feel like every step that i take god is god is definitely with me so that's my little testimony because it's not easy it can only be god that even made it possible to be able to use this whole space without asking me to pay twice you know anyway that's my testimony Praise God. <laughs> so imagine like paying, let's just say 540 for the past six months. Do you know how much God saved me from paying and having to use the whole space to myself? It's not common. It's not. It's literally not common here. You know, like because sometimes people will be like, oh, you don't have a roommate. And they didn't tell you. They didn't ask you to move. I'm like, no, they didn't even bring anything to me. <laughs> They didn't even bring anything to me, you know, and that's just God, and I'm so grateful. So, back to this. The next thing now is I have to take these beddings, drop them, and then sign out. I'm going to sleep in my room today. I'm going to sleep in my new room today, even though tomorrow is 15th, but I have a class 9 a.m. tomorrow, and it's a test. So, it's just best I sleep there and then go to school from there. So that I can also see how far or near it is to school. Anyways, let's go and sign out. The second one, this is what it looks like. Two pages. I don't know what it's all about. Like, just checking out and signing. Let's go. 